Hi, ACL recovery update time. It's week six. It's, uh, I've leveled up, yes, um, to the third stage of my recovery process. And I was going great guns until about uh, four and a half week mark. Uh, Sunday before last when I was at the playground <laughs> with uh, Sagan and Huxley and I thought, oh, you know, I want to get out there and do something. But what can I do that doesn't uh, involve my knee? I know, I'll do the monkey bars. So there I was doing the monkey bars and it was a decline monkey bar like this. And uh, when I got down the bottom, I turned around, went back. In fact, I did that fine the first time and then I went and did it a second time later and as I swung around my leg just you know uh, retracted like this I like I my reflexes just pulled my legs up and wah 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 did the hamstring I uh, tore or strained my um, hamstring it hurt like hell swollen like a little bit and um, yeah, I haven't been walking correctly since then. So I was doing fantastically at the four and a half week mark. I was walking perfectly. I was back at the uh, gym doing uh, light uh, stuff that my physio had uh, cleared me for and things like that. And then I went and did my hamstring. Do you believe it? Oh, who would have thought? Um, yeah. You can do your hamstring. I just got back from seeing the surgeon again at the six week mark this morning. And uh, he said that uh, probably 80%, 70, 80% of people who have the ACL surgery come back at that six week mark, which I did this morning and say, yeah, I've either torn my hamstring, I've strained it, I've had a niggle, a pull or whatever. So apparently it's actually <laughs> very, very common to um, injure your hamstring again. It's not a huge deal. It doesn't impact uh, my ACL. He tested my ACL, did the uh, Lotman test or whatever it's called. And you know, everything's, my ACL is still fine. There's nothing wrong with it because it's not like I landed on my leg or anything like that. But just let that be a lesson to you. You can um, uh, tear or strain your hamstring by not even having your feet on the ground. Go figure. Anyway, lesson learned. Um, so apart from that, I'll give you a look. Here we go. This is what uh, this is what it currently looks like. It is still a little bit um, <coughs> swollen. And uh, I've lost, uh, they measured my leg. I've actually, even though this one might look a bit bigger on camera, it's actually uh, two centimeters smaller than my uh, good leg around here. So, but that's normal. You lose muscle mass and everything. Very, in fact, it's, it's almost guaranteed um, as part of that. But the wounds are doing fine, except the main one down here, which uh, you can see, this has only recently came up in the last week or so. Um, you see the red bits at the end of the scar there, and apparently that's normal. They said what that is, um, very normal at the six-week mark. Um, the sutures inside, because they suture it up inside uh, before they um, superglue it, superglue the rest of it back together. And those sutures are at the end. They've got like knots at the end where they tie the sutures off I guess um, if you know all about doing sutures and stitches and that sort of stuff anyway internal ones and they said they're actually what those two red marks are are the sutures actually coming back up to the surface and they might actually break through and if they do I'm to just get a pair of tweezers and uh, we pull it out pull out the little sutures so they might actually float to the surface cool um, anyway apart from that um, it's doing uh, it's doing pretty well but yeah I've lost a lot of muscle mass in this leg and I'm um, doing um, I'm still doing the uh, rehab and everything else um, only twice uh, every second day I'm going to the gym and really there's not much to do at all very uh, light weights or no weights um, I'm doing uh, leg presses um, so I'm still doing my co-contractions uh, with my quads I'm doing uh, balance stuff on a mini trampoline that started out where I started, you know, you, you sort of exercise on the trampoline a little bit, then you try and stand on one leg and then look around. And the first time you do it on the bad leg, you just fall out, like you practically fall over. You can't, you don't have the stability. So uh, proprioceptive skills, I believe they're called, um, uh, to try and get 
your balance, um, all your balance back in your leg. And um, but a week later, it was fine, and now I'm doing that just great. Um, still cycling. I'm using the cross trainer. Uh, I'm doing uh, leg presses uh, with my body weight. Nothing, nothing fancy. I'm doing a uh, calf uh, calf machine as well. Uh, lunges. Um, I'm doing. Uh, Swiss ball bridges, um, so I have my legs up on the Swiss ball and then bridge up like that And you can really feel that in the hamstring after I did that hamstring injury you could really feel it, but that's getting better and uh, Also, Dr. Rose said um, effectively there is no difference between a Hamstring tear and a hamstring strain as far as he's concerned as far as the long-term recovery process for a hamstring Injury that he basically treats them as the same thing. It doesn't really matter and um, yeah I'm probably looking at four weeks. So I've, I've set back. I have set back my Recovery by doing that foolish hamstring thing, but it, it's very common like just walking around if you accidentally slip or something like that You can do your hamstring. It's not hard. He said yeah 70 80 percent of people will actually do some sort of hamstring um, Strain or niggle or something like that at the six week mark Anyway, um, yeah, I've leveled up to level three of my uh, recovery process, which I'll link in down below. Dr. Rowe has a very extensive uh, ACL recovery uh, check sheet with the exercises and that I'm allowed to do and all that sort of stuff. I've progressed, progressed to open chain uh, exercises now, but with very low or little weight um, at all. But uh, yeah, I'm slowly getting back into it. Just every second day at the gym, nothing fancy. Lots of bike and cross trainer and and doing all that sort of weird like uh, crab walks uh, with the rubber band between my legs and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm getting back into it, but bloody annoying. I'm not walking properly at the moment due to this hamstring um, injury. My physio said that uh, it affects when you do your hamstring, it affects your uh, fast twitch response time so as you walk as I extend my leg because I'm a really fast walker um, <laughs> even with the uh, even w after the knee surgery I'm still quicker than like nine out of ten people out of get out of my way you're too slow people walk too slow anyway um, yeah if I s straighten my leg out um, my muscles don't as I walk then uh, the yeah the muscles don't have time to react and it just it feels different than your mind goes oh I can't walk properly and then it's a mental thing and anyway I'm trying to walk slower and uh, you know more cautiously uh, now at least for the next couple of weeks so a typical hamstring recovery might take three four weeks something like that but because I'm really still treating the ACL eh, it's not too big of a deal because um, I've got to go light for the ACL anyway but apart from that little bit of swelling left in the knee but um, full range of motion and Apart from the hammy injury, um, it's doing pretty well. So, uh, yeah, apparently, like, there's a magical eight-week mark as well where I can start uh, uh, squatting much further than 90 degrees. At the moment, I'm not supposed to squat uh, past 90 degrees or thereabouts, maybe maybe 100 degrees, things like that. But I don't normally do that anyway. Um, but just if you're sitting on the floor and you try and sit up, uh, like, you know, normally I wouldn't use my hands to... I just get up and use my legs I can't do that at the moment my body's saying do not do that and um, so yeah I can't do that for at least another couple of weeks um, but yeah it's all going well losing the muscle mass it's got to regain but as I said right at the start it's probably a six month recovery so you know I'm only at six weeks um, <laughs> which is what uh, one and a half months it's bugger all right and really to get back you know complete recovery six months plus so really yeah it's still a long way and just got to be cautious anyway speaking of the uh, playground where I foolishly did the monkey bar in, uh, injury uh, if you, have you ever seen those um, surfboards on a spring they're they're like a surfboard they're actually shaped like a surfboard and they've got like a single big spring in the middle of it those things are weird. I've been on them before and you know if you just stand like a regular surfboard they're fine and your balance and everything. I was using it to do some of my balance exercises but then um, might have just been the particular one I was on but it would hit these resonant modes where a resonant mode of the spring combined with my muscle reflex 
response, um, it'd start little and then it'd get bigger and I could not recover from it, either on my good leg or my bad leg. When you shift, if you go on one leg directly in the center, it seemed to be fine, but if you offset your weight, sort of off to one side of the spring, um, it would hit these ridiculous resonant modes and practically throw you off. Um, I didn't fall off, but yeah, um, it was, anyway, it was fascinating. I'd love to look into the physics of um, one of those springy surfboard things. So fun, if you're next at a playground next time, um, have a ride on one of those springy surfboards, they're great. Anyway, um, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, stupid me, busted my hammy. Wah, 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 wah. Anyway, doing pretty well, apart from that. Catch you next time.